Play Local 10 News has the body cam video as police responded to a shooting in North Miami last month. Gunmen unleashing a barrage of bullets on an apartment with a baby inside. Local 10's Rosh Lowe is live with that exclusive video. Rosh. Okay, on Friday we brought you a short portion of this video and now North Miami police releasing the whole thing. What's so incredible about this video is if you think about who was inside of this apartment, a man, woman, and a 10-month-old infant. And wait until you see the damage. The call goes out. Shots fired into an apartment in North Miami. Here you see police arriving. Police asking if anyone heard gunshots. Did you hear shooting? Yes, I heard the shooting. They find the apartment. You can see the damage. At first, they don't know what they are dealing with. They ask the man to come out. Come on out. Come on out. Here is the victim shot in the leg. You can see him being placed into a rescue truck. But as police investigate, they discover more. Cops say the suspect, Emmanuel Guerrero Zaria, goes to the North Miami apartment on July 24th. And inside the apartment, a man, his girlfriend, and a 10-month-old infant in bed. This happened around 11.30 at night. Police say the suspect was there to inquire about a friend of the man. No details about what the dispute was about, but cops say the man in the apartment was an innocent victim. He wouldn't open the door and police say the suspect just started firing round after round and you can see all the damage here in total 15 rounds fired. And in this just released body camera video as police walking closer to the apartment, take a look at that window and just think to yourself, three people inside including a 10 month old, very lucky to survive this. Yeah, you saw the damage to the window, 15 rounds, and then there were rounds that went through the door. That struck the victim. Thank goodness he's expected to be okay. As of last check, the suspect remains behind bars with no bond. We're live tonight in North Miami. I'm Rosh Lowe, Local 10 News.